Dear colleagues, this I belongs to a female patient having diabetes for about 10 years. We can see radial spoke-like opacities in the peripheral part of the lens. So, this is cortical cataract. The nucleus was almost clear, but the cortical cataract was enough to reduce vision to a significant level. I have taken up this case for surgery. By this time, incisions two incisions have been made. Now I'm staining the anterior capsule with tripe and blue dye to demonstrate rexis. The dye is washed out. I'm going to use HPMC that is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose in this case as the viscoelastic substance. Here it is. This is HPMC. Now, one more sideboard is to be made for introduction of chopper and use of bimanual irrigation aspiration. Here it is. So, the incisions are made and now capsular excess is to be done. Incising the anterior capsule with this bent needle, 26 gauge needle. Now, using a uterita forceps, holding this flap going anticlockwise, trying to remain at equal distance all around from the margin of the dilated pupil, and thus I am getting a nice round rexis. That's it. Now, hydro dissection is to be done must see the fluid wave going from one side to the other side in such cases. Here it is. And now hydrodelineation also done. In this case hydrodelineation has produced a beautiful golden ring. So in this case what I try to do is just to elevate the nucleus with bevel down position of this FECO probe, FECO handpiece. So I'm trying to lift off this nucleus and see what happens. The whole thing came up and in bevel down position itself I emulsified it because I saw this thick epinuclear support and now I am holding the epinucleus and trying to remove it. Now I am turning the bevel towards 2 o'clock where a nuclear mass lost and this is the last nuclear mass at 4 o'clock. That's it. Nucleus and epinucleus taken out. Lot of cortical matter is remaining in this case. In this case I am using bimanual irrigation aspiration. The machine being used is Oatly Cataracts 3 FECO machine. This is a beautiful intra and irrigation aspiration probes. Very slender. The machine has very nice flow. And if we can balance the inflow and outflow, the chamber remains very steady. In this case and it is true for any machine. If we can balance the irrigation and aspiration, antechamber can remain very stable. So the cortex is removed. Now some fibers are there sticking to the posterior capsule. I am going to demonstrate hydro polish, polishing with the help of hydro. Hydro means water. So I am just using the fluid jet to dislodge these cells and see how beautifully we can polish the posterior capsule. All the cells are getting dislodged and the posterior capsule is becoming clear. Yes, the left has half has become clear. Now I am working on the right half and see the posterior capsule has become very clear. So no need to use irrigation aspiration or cap back mode. Just use the fluid jet, sweep it over the posterior capsule 
and we can have the nice polishing. This hydro polish I got increased by Dr. Sri Ganesh. He calls this no touch polish. Means you need not touch the posterior capsule to polish it. Just use the fluid jet, the jet of fluid to dislodge the cells and fibers and the posterior capsule becomes clear. So by this time the uh, intraocular lens, this is a hydrophobic acrylic aspheric intraocular lens. It has been placed in the capsular bag. I am expressing some viscoelastic substance and now I am going to demonstrate removal of viscoelastic substance. This is first stage using the Simcoe cannula to irrigate the antechamber and removing a lot of visco. Going behind the eye well, irrigating the space behind the eye well, that is the capsular bag and removing a lot of viscoelastic substance. Now I am going to use the irrigating probe and removing the remaining viscoelastic substance and this is irrigation aspiration together. So with these three stages almost 99% visco has come out but some viscoelastic substance remains stuck to the corneal endothelium. What I do is I after irrigating the side boards, after hydrating the side boards and injecting visco, uh, injecting moxifloxacin, I direct the fluid towards the endothelium and do the final cleaning. Sometimes go behind the eye well also. This final wash is very important. Must not leave any particulate matter, any particle in the chamber. Hope this video will help you in your practice. Thanks a lot for your attention.